These dogs are so enthusiastic. Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Ontario Permaculture. I'm Misty Murfarians. For this episode, we're going to show you some of the fun and laughs that we had recently at the local maple syrup festival, the Holstein Maple Fest. This is a nice way to celebrate the end of winter, which is kind of long and drawn out here in Ontario, and to really get the spring season started, honoring those seasonal things that only happen right now, and maple syrup flow just finished so we take time to pause and reflect on that before we get into the busy growing season around here we've already got some lovely crocuses coming up some daffodils we've got spring greens coming in the form of garlic mustard and daylily shoots and things like that and we're just looking forward to cultivating up the beds now that the snow has finally melted off of them and to put in our early season crops like the brassicas you know kale and broccoli and cabbage and beets and carrots and things like that and we're starting seeds for our tomatoes and things like that it's a very busy season there's lots to do and that's why it's fun to just have a little bit of a pause right before it all gets started and enjoy maple syrup flow. So without further ado, let's have a look at Holstein Maple Fest. Sage is gonna go get a hat. Getting a hat? Lovely, you wanna show it to me, sweet pie? The Maple Fest Festival is actually held quite a ways back in the bush off of the road. So there's parking at the road and tractors and buses take people from the parking lot up into the maple sugar bush. One of the funniest parts of the day is actually just riding in on the hay cart. It feels like a very rustic roller coaster ride. The ride takes us through our local village of Holstein. The Maple Fest is held at Love's Sugar Bush, run by the Love family, and is sponsored by the Agermont Optimist Club. Admission for Maple Fest is $10 per adult and children get in free, which makes for a very affordable and educational homeschool field trip. Because Holstein is local for us, it's a nice opportunity to see our community. Lots of people make it out for Maple Fest, so we see all the friends and neighbours who we wouldn't otherwise have a reason to be seeing. There's interesting vendors there, including this, Colours from Afar. These cats were very enticing to my little ones. Throughout the festival, there's lots of old-timey skills that you can practice, including this sawing with a two-person hand saw. And you take your offcut and have it branded to make a cute little maple log ornament. Fun for young and old. That's much wiser. There you go. You can do it. There's also lots of interesting climbing toys and obstacle courses for uh, the kids to go on. My girls love it because they're like action adventure heroes. Mm -hmm. 
You know you're in the country when you find play structures entirely made out of old tires. Things are starting to come back to my head. Yeah? This. Yeah. I want to do that. Yeah, let's go to the labyrinth. Go to the zip line. You did a great job there, sweet pie. Well, we're gonna go. We're gonna go do the dog show next week. Doing some good tricks in there. go deeper into the sugar bush you can see all the sap lines running down to the boiler which is at the bottom of the hill where the rest of the activities are located. Each of these lines comes from a maple tree further up the hill and they all collect together on these main lines which run up the path. We'll talk more about these shortly. When you get further down in the bush, there's lots of activities, crafts for the kids, foods and snacks and treats and things that you can get there, and lots of little historical tidbits like these old washing machines. Mama, taffy, taffy, taffy. taffy seems to be the highlight for most people who attend Maple Fest. For taffy, maple syrup is boiled until it's 238 degrees Fahrenheit, then poured on snow to cool it. A popsicle stick is then rolled in the sticky candy, and voila, a lollipop. Can I go get the ice cream now? Okay. Ooh, some ice cream coming out now. Oh, Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Would you like to try some? 
fresh ice cream? I would love to try some of that. Thank you very much. Yeah, well. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, ice cream on a cold day. Mm. You don't know. <laughs> After ice cream, it was off to the candle holder making station. We were given tin cans and these tin can holders as well as awls and hammers to punch little holes into a design to make a little maple themed candle holder. We taped on a pre-drawn design onto the can. The can has to sit on these can holders otherwise it would just crush or you wouldn't be able to get a good tap on. When the kids wanted to take over, I quickly realized that my leather gloves were an asset. And then it was on to the sap jug race. I was surprised at how much fun the kids were having with this installation. I myself love the idea of hand pumped water and the little maple syrup bottles float so nicely. Do them both. Do both, do both. Pump them both. Okay, one. Two, three, and go! <laughs> Keep doing the other puff. You're only doing the one. <laughs> oh, I see. You want that one to win. Yay, it wins! And this brings us all to the reason we came to a sugar bush to see the maple syrup. You may not know that maple syrup comes from maple sap, the sap of the maple tree. It drips out steadily in the springtime whenever the temperatures at night are freezing and the temperatures in the daytime are above zero. Remember those lines from earlier? Well, here they are again. A professional maple operation will have all of its sap drip downhill through these lines. It's gathered at a pump house and pumped back out hill to a tank house. The tank house, right here, will store the sap and bring it over to the evaporation house. In the evaporation house, well, the obvious happens, evaporation. That's where the maple syrup magic happens. It can take more than 40 liters of sap to make one liter of maple syrup, but boy is it worth it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mm. No, thank you. You know what, I will give one a try. Mm -hmm. I will. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thanks very much. That looks glorious. Thank you so much. Mm -mm. And no trip to a sugar bush is complete without a stack of pancakes covered in maple syrup. Mm -mm. The Holstein Maple Fest also has an assortment of antique and traditional style for making maple syrup. And they keep this display out on the hillside where they also have a bunch of very attractive animals. There is always so much to learn here.
there. Hi. Hi there. How are you doing? Enjoying all the apples you've got today? Try, try swinging on it, see what happens. I'm pretty sure that's what it's for. Oops. <laughs> it's just for you to get the heck out of the way of. And with that, we come to the end of our very full day at Holstein Maple Fest. We never have time to do all the activities because there's just so many, but we always leave feeling like we got the full, old-timey, rustic, woodsy experience. After all, we love a food forest, and a maple sugar bush is just that. Hey, Bryce here. I just wanted to take a second to say thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you viewers for spending your time watching this video with us today. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button down in the corner and feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more permaculture content from us in the future. I'd also like to give a really big thank you to all of our GoFundMe funders and all of our Patreon patrons. The financial support that you give to this channel really does help bring better permaculture content to you every time we film. We are truly grateful for all that you've done. To all of you out there, we hope you have a magnificent spring and we hope you have a very, very sweet season. Come join us again.